Hey guys, it's Taylor, and welcome to this tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to get a way nicer chat box than the chat box that I showed you in my last, or a couple videos back on, I think it was like Amiibo or whatever, that really just sucked really badly. And I wanted to show you a way nicer chat box that I actually use on my new website. As you see, I do have a new website, and I finally published it. It's at sportsven100.net. Now, my last, the reason why I made this website was because my last one <laughs> sucked, and it was using a, you know, I was using a pre-made template, and I didn't want to use that, so I made this template completely from scratch. Now, I will actually make a tutorial on how to make, like, how to make a similar website like this, and once you learn how to make that similar website, then you can, you know, customize it and make it your own. That'll actually be in a series that I will do sometime in, in the future. <laughs> Anyway, so the reason why I'm doing this tutorial because it's not really related to topics that I'm that I do now is because it has somewhat to do with HTML, you know, embeddable HTML and websites. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So this chat box is called Cbox. It's actually a very great program. It allows you to write your name, your email, and your message. It also allows you to cu fully customize this chat box and uh, you know, ban users, you could, you can, um, message back users, you can figure out a way to have every, all the messages go to your email, it works like that, it's really cool, and it also shows you the date and, uh, in different colors on, or each line of text has different colors, which is really cool, and you can also, if the person has an email, you can also email these people back. And which is really nice. You can copy the email address just like that. So anyway, we're gonna open that up. You can you can go to Cbox by going to my website sportsfan 100net and clicking right here. You can also it'll also be in the description, but you can also go to uh, Cbox.ws and we want to go to sign up and you want to make your Cbox account. It's just your Cbox name, your email address, your password, and your website, if you have a website, and your language and your style. Now you can change the style later, and most of the other settings right here. And just agree. And you will have to, I think you have to validate your email, but once you do that, you just log in at the homepage. Alright, now once into the actual cPanel, you'll have your chat box right here, and you'll also have your account details and some other options. You can lock your account, which basically means that you can take your account and basically prevent it from being used. If you delete it off your site or delete it off this, it'll still be on, or no, if you delete it off your off this, it'll still be on your site, and you can get it back. So that's kind of helpful. I locked it. And you can also delete the account. Now you can also upgrade to a more professional template. I, I don't see a reason why. I like this just the way it is and I'm not upgradable or I'm not upgraded. Or, I like this just the way it is and I haven't upgraded yet. So I like it and it's fine. So what we want to do is go to, after we have it, we can go to look and feel. This is actually very important, and we can go to layout options. Let's go to layout options. You can change the width, the height, and the form height, and you can also change uh, the mess or the amount of lines in each message, or each on the C box, and you can also ch change the uh, number of messages shown in the whole form, and you can also have it from oldest to top or newest to top, or newest at top. All right, now style presets. They have presets already made for you, and you can choose from the ones here. Um, I think the one that I had was Classic Dark, and then I edited from there. But you can choose any of the other ones, and, you know, make this, or make any of the other ones. Um, let me go to Colors and Fonts. This is actually where you can edit your the colors and everything of your, of your C-Box. So if you wanted to change any of the colors, you just s click on it and then change the color and it'll change automatically. You can also change the fonts. I'm not sure exactly where you can change the fonts. I think if you just type in the font that or a Windows font, you should be able to get it. Um, and there's a border. You can add a border to it, a link, and so on. Now, once you've saved, you can hit apply and it should be saved. Now, to get the code, you can go to uh, layout options 
and maybe change one of these this to like or one of these to maybe like 501 I don't know if you were to do this and hit save you can get your new code right here because the code has changed and you can get the code right here now back into here you can um, have generic HTML block uh, and you can have you can choose where you want to install your CBox uh, you can choose a variation like inline pop-up link floating button uh, deferred load I just kept that in line and you can also get your code now you can just copy right co copy the clipboard right here um, and you can also update which is kind of useful and you can install it I really didn't do it I just used this code um, and it's it's helpful I don't know why that said that Okay. Now, if we go to options, we have a few other options as well. So we can go to posting options, and we can change the amount of characters you want in your in your message length. Now, you for 500, 100, you have to upgrade to uh, your you like upgrade to pro, which I'm really not going to do. I don't have the time to do that or anything. You can also allow avatars on your C box. And you can enable live chat. You you can only get these if you upgrade, and I guess this would be a great reason to or excuse to upgrade. And you can also require C A P C H A C A P T C H A, which is a um, code requirement. Which you know you see at Google, where you have to type in a code every time you sign in or sign up, or if you forget your password a few times, you have to you know write in the code to make sure someone's not or YouTube's not getting a spam. Now let's go to users and access. You can find um, registered registered users, and you can also um, find blocked users. And there are users that I blocked, but that's just because they were spam, and you know they're stupid. Now if we go to messages, go to messages right here. You can take any of your messages that have been shown onto your C box and delete them or block the IP so if you were to check one you can hit ban or delete just by the IP now you can select as many as you want and you can also select all and you can also refresh and search for a certain message now you can also report spam and just like that you can also go to products and see all the products that they offer and you can you know you, there's actually cbox premium and cbox premium multi multi-threaded which is 13 uh, about 14 dollars a month which just seems stupid um but cbox premium is only two dollars a month which is really nice but there's no real point to do it um so that's pretty much it at features it shows you what you can get from basic and premium so you know basically just showing you oh yeah premiums better but really it's not the only thing it doesn't offer is like the only big thing would probably be who's online display maybe and custom word filter uh, that's about it and password protected names that's kind of impor important user integration stuff like that you know they're not that important but you know they can be important if I had to pick ones those would be my most important just for my opinion okay now to copy the code it's actually very easy you just go back to the um, code generator and you just go to copy to clipboard and just hit control C if, if you don't want to hit copy to clipboard and then go to Dreamweaver and paste it anywhere you want to I have it right on the side, but all you'd have to do is just find where you want to and go to code and then paste it right where it is. Actually, I'll do that right now. I want to see what happens. Yeah, it makes two. <laughs> okay. Anyway, that's basically how you 
embed it in the Dreamweaver. It's very easy. You can also put this in a table. If you don't know how to use tables in Dreamweaver, you can go to the tutorial right here. And it's actually a it's actually a, one of my last tutorials on how to you know, use tables in Dreamweaver. And that's it. Anyway, I hope this tutorial helped, and if you have any other questions, you can comment below. Also, if you have the time, it would be nice if you guys could comment on my C box or chat box, whatever, and write how my chat box or how my website looks. If it looks okay, you know, write it. Or if you have any other opinions on my website, you can put them below. Um, I'll go through my website real quick. Um, my tutorials page has all my tutorials on YouTube, and you can click on them. Now, this is very helpful for some of my, or useful, I guess you could say, for some of my older videos, which weren't in great quality. All the video, I actually saved all of my video templates in Camtasia, which allowed me to upload all the videos in HD. The reason why I couldn't upload in HD before was because my router that I was uploading to was horrible and wouldn't let me upload long. I think I've explained that before, but anyway, that's the reason. So I uploaded all of them in HD onto uh, my other account, but they're unlisted, just to put that out there. <laughs> so that's why you can't see them. And I'll post, I post my latest tutorial right there, and then you can also view my latest tutorial on my latest video section right here. My forum is the same forum that's been here for quite a while. You know, this is a pretty nice community. I don't know why no one's joining it, joined it yet. But if you could, that'd be really great. You know, there's a lot of things that people have talked about so far. Um, about, there's really nothing great about about. Uh, you can also contact me. Just find, no, uh, this is a big easy way to contact me. If you have any other questions or concerns or opinions or anything for my site or YouTube or any question like that, you can com or you can contact me right here and it'll send straight to my email and I can basically respond to it. I also make a tutorial on how to get this. It's actually really easy to get. Um, yeah, you can also contact me at my YouTube account, SportsFan1100, or you can contact at Taylor Weitzel. I also made a Twitter account and a LinkedIn account, which you can also contact me at, which is which are right at the homepage. You just have to click on the thumbnails for Twitter and LinkedIn. You have to make a LinkedIn account, though, as shown right here. Um, you can also go straight to my YouTube account back there. Now, on my YouTube account, you can view... You can go to my site directly by just clicking on the, the banner right here. Anyway, I hope this tutorial helped, and again, I'll see you later. Bye.